The Myrtle Allen archive is extraordinarily extensive and I suppose that has been a surprise to all of us. It's like she had secreted away all of these papers for generations. It, there was always, she was always writing things down, she was um, making notes on various different things. She could be anywhere, it was very mobile, she could be standing in the kitchen with a scrap of paper just writing notes. These are gems of historical value. Uh, and then there are other things like the work with her restaurant in Paris, La Fermi Londaise. There are first drafts of her 1977 cookbook, the Ballymaloo cookbook. Uh, and then another whole golden discovery are her handwritten or hand-typed uh, menus from the restaurant from the Yates Room uh, starting in the 1960s. And I suppose the biggest thing that we must remember is that she was a self-taught cook in a male-dominated world. Her, her influence at home was uh, to give Irish cooks confidence to find local ingredients local to them and, and cook them and write them down on their menu as where they were from and exactly what they were. Internationally, um, it brought people uh, to look at something that was happening in Ireland which had not previously happened, to look at some of the cooking that was happening here but also to look at the ingredients and the quality of those ingredients and to realise that, you know, this was something very special. It's coming to a good place in a curatorial sense where we've got experts, expert archivists in particular, and also librarians uh, who will understand this, um, who we believe will cherish this along with us and who will valorise it to the, um, to the wider community and to the wider world.